So I friend this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video as the counseling date and result date for A Triple E 2022 has been announced now. So here I will provide you the complete A to Z step by step process everything that you need to know in order to do your counseling in a in a better manner and you will able to get the best out of your rank that's what I am hoping for all of you. So here I will try to provide you all the information about the A Triple E counseling degrees what are the college you will able to get what is the schedule that you need to follow fee detail for all the slab I will be talking about and registration how you need to do eligibility that is uh, which type of a student are eligible what is the reservation uh, criteria and choice filling most importantly refund policy so everything i will be discussing in the same video so if you're first to my channel please try to subscribe the channel and if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number for complete guidance there is a nominal charge for that once you register i will be guiding you as i have guided lots of us friends in last three four years and it is not only limited to a triple e but for other counseling whatever you will do this year including josa csap comment k that everything i will be guiding you so that you will get the admission in best possible college by the end of this year so if you want you can contact me anytime through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box so one more thing i would like to inform you that i have already uploaded the expected cutoff for this year all campus all branch that is what will be the expected cutoff for csc coimator ec coimator or csc amrita puri bangalore chennai everything and this year they have added our new campus that is samravati and that is uh, that is subjected to AICTE approval. So if they will get, get the approval, they uh, they will provide you the option to fill the choice in the choice filling itself. So let's get started with the video. So before that, once again, I would like to request you please try to like this video and subscribe the channel so that you will not miss any type of update. And I will also get some type of support from your side. So here is the information that is. First of all, let's talk about the overview. So with A Triple E, J E, SAT, T U W E, these are the four examinations through which you can take the admission. Obviously, the most important is A Triple E and J E mains. With SAT and P U W E also, there are some percent of seat are available, but 70% seat will be filled through A Triple E, 25 will be filled through J E mains, and rest will be filled through these two examinations. So next, uh, all students are eligible. That is every type of a student. If you have 60% in class 12 examination, that is 55% at least in each subject. That is PCM. Then you are eligible for this if you have appeared in a triple e or j mains or set p u w e any with anything you can register on the website and you will able to get the seat through the counseling process and i would like to inform you those students who are waiting for the j mains result you can apply at the time of registration when the registration for csap will be starting it is centralized seat allocation process at the time you can provide your phase one result itself and when your phase two will be announced uh, they will provide you the option to uh, fill the phase 2 result as well and based on that they will provide you the college and uh, now if you talk about the number of campus available 4 plus 1 that is 4 campus earlier this year they have added Amravati campus earlier it was Coimbatore, Bangalore, Amrita Puri and Chennai and for everything I have provided the information you can check the video in iVotan as well as the description box it is cut off and everything and very soon I will try to provide you the placement detail about all the campus all the branches surely in the same channel so now if you talk about the cutoff, cutoff you can go uh, you can get up to 30,000 with A triple E and up to 2 lakh rank also and there is reservation that is 50% uh, seat will be reserved for home state. There is no category wise reservation that is general OVC SCST but 50% seat will be given to only home state and rest 50% will be given to other status student. So if you talk about the fee, fee is 1 to 3.25 lakh depending on the slab that you will get and I will talk about that in detail in the same video later that is scholarship uh, there are available slab 1, slab 2, slab 3 and what are that I will try to discuss and number of seat available in each slab I will discuss later in this video. So now if you talk about the placement, very good placement record. So if you don't know about it, uh, that is Amrita, Amrita University, please try to watch my review video in the same channel you will get that is Amrita uh, playlist you will able to get. So try to check that. And one more thing I would like to inform you, if you want to get the management quota seat in Amrita, there is an option on website itself, whenever you will register, they will ask you whether you want to consider yourself for management quota. If you will select that, you will be you will be uh, getting an option of management quota as well. Obviously, they will be charging more. So I will, su I will suggest to avoid that option until unless you don't get the seat in counseling process, then you can go with management quota because management quota uh, can be achieved later in later days also because you will be paying more fee. But now I will suggest you do your counseling very carefully and I will be helping in that that is complete guidance I will be available you from 10 am up to midnight for all the day for you you can call me any number of time any for any duration until unless your doubt is clear so and, and more importantly the counseling process will be done under my guidance and it is not only for a but for other counseling whatever you will do this year for that also that is up to your final admission is done so now let's continue this video that is course availability 
so here is the course available for all the campus you can read side wise as well i am telling you aerospace engineering only in coimbatore campus automation and robotics engineering that is are is subjected to aict approval that is wherever the star marks is there that is subjected to aict approval if it will be approved you will be getting the option of that branch in the choice filling that is amritapuri and chennai campus and coimbatore also and uh, civil engineering only available in uh, coimbatore campus uh, chemical engineering only available in coimbatore campus computer science available in every campus computer science artificial intelligence available in all campus computer science uh, uh, that is communication engineering only available in chennai and coimbatore and uh, computer science engineering cyber security uh, available in uh, amritapuri coimbatore and chennai and next is ec available in all the campus except um, uh, amravati and tripoli again amritapuri chennai and bangalore and uh, uh, electronics and uh, electronics and computer engineering that is eac uh, available in amritapuri and bangalore and electrical and computer engineering are available in amritapuri as well as in coimbatore and mechanical engineering available in all campus except amravati uh, so this was about the program that is available it is for btech course and uh, as i said uh, star marks uh, means subjected to aict approval there is total 36 option among that 31 uh, 31 is sure and 5 option is subjected to uh, aict approval so now let's talk about the schedule that is very important that you need to follow if you will miss you will miss the whole counseling process uh, of course it is tentative dates but as of now this is the date that's why i'm providing you it may change because last year also they changed number of time so publication of a triple result based on the best of percentile that you have got in phase one phase two they will consider and they will provide you the rank based on that it is on august 5th and registration of CSAP will be starting uh, from same day that is August 5th and registration will be done up to 12th of August trial allotment will be done on 15th trial allotment is not the original allotment that is just the mock allotment there they will provide you the option that you may get in first round so that is not the reality because after that many students will change the choices so that will have the effect on first round allotment and first round allotment will be done on 17th of August last day, last day to pay the provisional fee that is initial fee uh, for the seed that you will get in the counseling process you will have to do that up to 22nd of august and there will be different type of rules applicable that is flood freeze slide different type of option and that is very same i will try to provide you a separate video about that also but i am telling you float means you will retain the seed but you will go for next round if you will get anything the, your seed will be changed and you will not able to get your previous seed if you will do freeze that means you are ready to take the admission in the given college if you will do slide that means you want to get the other branch in that same uh, campus itself so i think you got the complete information second allotment will be done on 24th of august and the rest schedule is not announced yet once they will announce i will try to inform you as soon as possible so now let's talk about fee details so here's the information that is counseling fee they will take 5000 and it will be adjusted with your academic fee once you take the admission if you will not take the admission and if you will not get anything in the counseling process they will refund your 5000 if you will get anything and if you will not take the admission this 5000 will be not refunded so here is the complete information about the uh, btech fee structure that is for this year csc and ai branch will have a little bit more fee that is first of all i would like to inform you slab one will have only 10 percent seat and what is the total number of seat they will not reveal because they are selling the seat through management quota also and they are selling it officially i don't know it is legal or not but it's private college they can do anything so in the official website itself they are showing the management quota option so that's why they are not providing the total number of seat what is available in each branch and each campus because they want to sell maximum number of seat to generate more money but obviously every seat will not be sold you will get the maximum seat through counseling only and 10 percent seat will be filled through slab one so slab one you will have to get really good rank and i have only provided the cut off uh, rank for this year that is uh, all the four campus of uh, amrita amrita university but for uh, slab one or slab two you will have to get a little bit more uh, better rank whatever i have provided in that because that i have considered as a general that is regular fee so here is slab one a uh, 10 percent seat slab two 20 percent slab three again 20 percent slab uh, four that is regular fee is 50 percent so most of the seat will be filled through regular fee only and job fee is 1 lakh for slab 1, 1.75 lakh for slab 2, 2.5 lakh for slab 3 and 3 lakh is the regular fee. And similar type of fee is applicable for all the campus but for Coimbatore 25,000 is more as compared to other campus. And if you will go for other, other branches that is ELC or EC branches that is electronics related branch then it is 1 lakh, 1 1.5 lakh, 1 1.75 and 2.25 lakh that is less as compared to CSC and if you will go for mechanical it is again less that is highest fee is 2 lakh per year and cost and fee they will take that is 10,000 and uh, uh, that is at the time of admission so hope you get the complete information 
uh, for the complete uh, fee structure of Amrita University for all the campus. So now let's talk about the choice filling. That is the very important process. Please try to listen my word very carefully because with better uh, better choice filling, with better counseling process, you will able to get the best lab as well as the best branch. Obviously, you are targeting best branch, but if you will get best lab, then you will face the money of your parents as well. So it is very advisable. Do it very carefully, and I will be guiding you completely for the choice filling, decision making, everything up to your admission is done, so that you will get the best out of your rank and you will join the best campus with best possible slab. And it is not only for AEEE but for other counseling, whatever you will do. And I will be doing the college comparison at the last so that you will join the best college with best possible branch. So if you want, you can contact me through Instagram or WhatsApp number available in the description box. So most important process, as I said, one time choice filling, only one time it is before first round. You have to fill the choices and that will be considered for all the remaining rounds. So you will not able to change. That's why it is very important. And total 36 uh, choices will be available. You can fill any number of choices and five are subjected to AICT approval that I already said earlier. And as I said, you can fill any number of choice. Minimum is one, maximum is 36. So that I will consider during the choice filling as well. So now let's talk about the most important thing about the counseling process that is the refund policy because many of you will be taking the admission uh, as a backup option and you will look for IIT and IIT or any other college as well. So what is the refund policy? So as I earlier said, refund will be made as per UGC ICT uh, policy and refund will be made uh, only after the submission of proof. That means you have paid the fee, you have got the seat. If you will provide everything, they will provide you the refund. So, so here is the important information that is first. There is two type of refund policy. First is for other campus, other three campus, and second is for Coimbatore campus. So first uh, refund policy says that withdrawal request before commencement of program. That is before the classes start. That is not released yet when the class will start. But before that, if you will take, then they will refund all your money by deducting one thousand only. That is uh, fee processing fee. And if you will request within ten days, that is after the commencement of the classes. That is suppose uh, if the class will start from twelfth of September. And you, if you will ask your money before 22nd of September, then they will provide you the refund by deducting 10%. And if you will, if you will go after 10 days, but before 20 days, that is before 2nd of uh, October, then they will provide you the refund by deducting 20%. And if you will go after 20 days, but before 30 days, that is uh, before 12th of uh, 12th of October, you will be getting 50% refund only. And after that, there is no refund policy. So this was about the refund policy of Amrita Puri campus, Bangalore campus, Chennai campus. And if there will be the availability of um, uh, Amravati this year, it is applicable for that also. But now let's talk about Coimbatore campus. For Coimbatore campus, you will have a little bit more time that is before commencement, similar thing that is all, all fee will be refunded. But after the commencement, within 30 days, you will get uh, the refund by deducting 10% after the commencement but before 45 days that is after 30 days but before th uh, 45 days uh, you will have to sacrifice 20 percent of your fee that is they will provide you the refund by deducting 20 percent that is suppose example if you will uh, if the classes will start from 12th of september if you will go before 12th of october they will provide you the 10 percent refund if you will go before the classes start they will provide you all the refund uh, if you will go after 12th of october but before uh, before 27th of october they will provide you the uh, refund by deducting 20% and if you will go after 45 days but within 60 days that is after 27th of October but before 12th of November they will provide you the 50% refund after 12th of October they will provide you no refund and 12th of October I am providing you just an example uh, it is not the official information that classes will be starting from the 12th of September but it may start around that that's why I provided you the example so this was the complete information about the complete process of a 2022 everything I have discussed that is peer structure counseling process choice feeling schedule program available everything refund policy uh, overview of the uh, counseling process everything I have discussed so hope you find this information very useful for you so please try to subscribe this channel so that I will get some support from your side and please try to contact me if you want the counseling guidance from me. There is a nominal charge for that. If you want, you can contact me so that you will get the best out of your rank. Thanks.